Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. You're currently living in a world where people document their lives in more unique ways than ever before. You can post a picture to social media, upload a vlog to YouTube, or go old school and make a scrapbook. And what's great about these things is that it gives you countless ways to look back at different life events and recall certain memories, like that time you got married, or that time your dog wouldn't stop rolling around in the mud. Still pretty cute though, look at that pupper go. And there are lots of ways to trigger certain memories too, like smelling a certain scent or hearing a certain sound. But what's actually happening in the brain when one of these memories is triggered? And are those memories always correct? We've all been there. You're in your kitchen and you get a whiff of some potato chips and suddenly you're taken back to a time where you were up all night snacking and playing the newest Mass Effect game. Oh, I miss college. This is an example of an episodic memory, one where you mentally travel back in time to relive something in the past. Odors are powerful triggers for these, usually resulting in more vivid and emotional memories compared to those triggered by your other senses. That's likely due to the layout of your brain. See, the olfactory bulb, which processes odors, is connected to two important structures involved in memory and emotion the hippocampus, and the amygdala. The hippocampus is involved in storing long-term memories and the amygdala is involved in processing emotions. Just imagine if scientists invented smell vision already. Certain shows might be triggering memories left and right. Although if smell vision did exist, I would be watching a lot more of those cooking shows. Of course it's not just smells that can be good memory cues. Pictures can be as well. And interestingly, the memories they bring back up might not be entirely correct. A study in the early 2000s showed subjects four photos, three of which were real pictures from their childhood and one that was a Photoshop photo of the subject and their family taking a hot air balloon ride. The subjects reviewed all four photos three times over two weeks and by the end of the study, 50% of the subjects quote unquote remembered the balloon ride and described it in great detail. Basically, these images caused these people to remember something that hadn't actually happened. Similar to this, a 2011 study had people read news headlines of world events where some headlines were true and others were false. And some of the headlines had photos as well. When the people were asked if they remembered the event, if it had a picture attached, they confidently said they remembered it even if it was fake. But don't get me wrong, pictures obviously don't just cause you to remember false events. If you see an undoctored photo, you're probably going to remember the event as it happened. In fact, pictures are so good that they can even help people with dementia. Something called reminiscence therapy is sometimes used to get people with dementia to talk about past experiences with other people, with the aid of photos, music, stories, and other things to cue certain memories. And there's even some evidence to suggest that it can improve their mood and cognition. More research is needed, but every little bit of improvement is a very, very good thing. So what's the weirdest thing that's ever triggered a memory for you? And what was the memory? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you curious as to why you forget things in the first place? Well, lucky enough, there is a Life Noggin video on just that. Check it out. All of the small details of any experience, like you watching this video for example, are combined into one event in your brain's hippocampus. You are essentially a network of neurons that records the association linked to the memory. As always, I'm Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.